Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shosley Mimi where you get the gist. I see they do waiting, I see they hurt. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the hearts. So, guys, I'm seeing this season to be a season of sheep, a season where everybody is turning it to ultimate love in Ebuka's voice, you know, house. Um, the netizens have some things or two to say. Coming from Chime, as a legendary shipper of Bibi Niger, I can confirm to you that this is the first season where sheep no sweets. Sheepers, can you relate? Are you feeling the ship this season? Because you all will tell me. Do you think the ship this season is really not giving you guys like previous season? Okay, she may still continue and says, Ship is only sweet when there is one IT ship. Some platonic cuddling here and there plus struggling situationships. Not when everybody has shared themselves. Every corner you look, two people are covered with duvet. You know, so Chime felt, feels like this season needs to do better when it comes to sheep. You know, that the sheep are not shipping this season. Me, I cannot. Well, I wanted to say maybe yes. So because in as much as I am somebody who does not ship this house, me, you know, we've seen season where people ships do some pinging and it's really giving. I'm not going to lie. The also season shipper ships were really, really giving. At least they were just giving us things. It was giving more mature to me. I think that's just the difference between previous season ships and this season. This season ships is giving baby sheep you know all right i'm um, coming from the curious kimmy i don't agree with the no sheep is given this season tofa and anita sheep is over giving they are cute and have a great bond i just don't know if it will last outside because of the age bruhaha but in there they are very cute together tonita people are on to something guys what do you think about that Hmm. Okay, while we are still talking about sheep, let's talk about the jet ski of the season. That is Onyeka. Yes, Onyeka, the girl with Savvy. <laughs> Onyeka, the show carrier. So, yeah, um, Onyeka was having conversation, you know, about sheep and her jet ski. She was just having this convo that is going on in the house. She first of all was having this convo with the, what's it called, with the sister, and I think with sister and the OC. And OC you know, and then she was telling them that um, the ships in this house are not making the house interesting. Like, even if they want to do a truth or dare game, that she could dare, um, what was it called? Tofa to go kiss and eat, uh, sorry, Nelly. And then Chizoba was like, it's not even going to happen. Because even if Tofa would want to do that, Nelly would never accept that. And then Chizoba said, people are actually, the ships, shippers are actually loyal to their ship. Imagine the, their task, the vibes on vibes, um, wage attacks. Zion said, Chinwe said, her man should not dance with anybody. Same way, um, what's the name? Suj also said Nelly should not dance with anybody. So they are just everyone is just but she's about felt like if it was Ben that she wouldn't mind if Ben danced with anyone. Like it's not that deep that the ships this season are really, you know, holding on too tight. You know, then Onyeka was actually trying to review on how she wanted to be using her jet ski, whatever, whatever. And then she said, But um Ebuka came because Osi was saying something about even if you wanted to do a thing like that, you should not be the one to actually be, you know, causing problem for yourself. And then Onyeka said that was what she was doing until Ebuka came to review anything. But OC felt like um she actually orchestrated everything that is actually happening with her and all the ships she's creating. Like meaning that she's also Felix is also involved in all of the things Onyeka is doing. Like it's not really a gameplay. Meanwhile, with the conversation heard with OCs, netizens have actually been coming for them. By the way, twins, we'll get there and why. But first of all, Monika had conversation with Suj. 
That was the first convo they had after Ibuka reviewed whatever he reviewed about Suja and Onyeka. And then Onyeka said she has actually chose to stay far away. And Suja was like telling Onyeka that we can still be having conversation, just that boundaries will be set. But Onyeka felt like that he should forget that she knows ladies, you know, that she knows how ladies operate, that Nelly would definitely always feel like she, Onyeka, is trying to make her jealous if she's with Suj. So the best way is to just stay away from Suj. But Suj actually felt like they can still be having normal conversation and just being chilled than, you know, some touchy touchy thing that I just need to set boundaries you know but Onyeka felt like she, distance is the best way you know to solve this case you know and then Onyeka told Suj that Nelly did not take it that deep and Suj replied and said Nelly did not take it deep because they already had conversation in that regard that's why it's really not that deep for her anymore you know so at this point I know Onyeka will be feeling like hey as Ebuka tried to you know spoil her show with all this her just kissed stuff will Onyeka stop or will she continue that is the question right now. Now, like I told you guys, they've, they are coming for the um, body with twins. Um, Ricky said, sometimes the way Osi and Ozi attack Onyeka, you would think they are the ones that brought her to the show and paid all expense. <laughs> guys, you also feel same way. Let me know in the comment section. Let's see people's reaction to that post from Ricky. Okay, CC War says, who calls Sam? It's Onyeka now. If she had given them their size, they would stop. And then Chris Savage said she deserve it. She's always so available in everywhere. Make she self respect herself. Chetachi Energy says those guys feel they are the senior prefects of the house. Guys, people have been saying this a whole lot about them by the way twins. Like they feel like ah, they know it's everything. Like we've noticed that thing when new housemates emerge the head, head of house, they would look like they are the ones to give them guidelines, you know. And they do that in a subtle way so as not to stir up drama. Alright, Julia Chidima Onyekachi says they want to be besties to reach and popular mbadi with family now the mbadi with twins were very lovely and humble the first two weeks but since housemates started worshiping them and following them around their ego became high i don't blame them at all rather all the housemates that wants to be in their good book hmm okay our housemates really following them around the people they are very close with are the checkers that's all okay miracle gechuku says very commanding spirit doesn't body waste twins if they pay me past like a fine Igbo like that no way to me i think also they are quite commanding i think same way too like you know they, they're kind of controlling but you just need to this kind of people you just need to tell them call a spare a spare with them and they would respect your boundaries all right sandra says onyeka i have no problem with your plans to scatter ships my issue is why pretend to be friends with the girls is you want you want them since you want their men i don't get tell them the truth to their face who you are then take their men in peace it's giving two time in our bed guys you know one thing i have noticed we as viewers it's very easy for us to say oh do this do that when you get to that show you just notice that most of this housemates giving us something to talk about are really trying you know the cutest kimi said onyeka should okay i'm gonna skip that whatever ship that is actually destroyable the boy is not a baby to not know right from wrong my own is she should stop the side talk about the girls being scarce scared of her okay that's scared no scars okay we are in short scared this and that face the man and play your game as she should so now the netizens feel like they'll enjoy the gameplay if onyeka is ready to play the game but she should not focus in denting the lady's image okay coming from vhq if only onyeka had two other women in the house ready to f shit up like her this season could have had it all lore oc wants Want in on Onyeka's plan now, Wahala. Okay, they feel like OC is trying to you know scatter Onyeka's plan because the way he's actually sounding and talking to Onyeka. Now the question is, would Onyeka let anyone bring her down with her strategy? That is the question. Now coming from Hills. Onyeka works for screen time. That is one thing I will applaud her. She knows how to work and get Omo, you see that screen time on? That is why some people feel like they give her more screen time. But guys, believe you me, that girl, she's almost on every convo. Like, yo, I give it up for her. She has the energy for days. Now, talking about Onyeka, what I wanted finally happened. Top Chat Africa. You know, the other chat I brought was Social Week something something. But this one is Top Chat Africa. You know, 
the social charts uses social media google analytics to determine the most talk about person of the week guess what guys Onyeka becomes the second baby Niger housemate to hit number one. I have been saying this. I've been saying this. I said Onyeka is doing too much to not appear on number one top chart. <laughs> baby girl has been the topic in the house. She has been on everybody's convo. So why would she not be number one? But guys, guess what? Social charts appeared. You know, the, I shared one yesterday. That one was not the social chat. It was something, something. I've forgotten the, that one's um title. Yes. And this is Onyeka being on number one, sitting comfortably on the social charts, number one. In fact, this social chart is filled up with BB Niger kids, you know. Um, wow, Ichoko, Ichoko, the only person that is not a baby Niger kid here is Kosi, the winner, Twala, baby girl made it, Kosi reigns, you guys, your topic is for another day anyways, I'll be another time, okay, maybe some other video I'll be talking about um the baby, baby in Zanzi kids, I'll have to put it in there because Kosi, you guys are doing too much for her. All right, and um, Sabi Radio says Femi said it's only girl like Sophie, I like Hija that can make him get into a relationship in the house, and not people like Onyeka. Anyways, what he said is that for Onyeka, he likes Onyeka's body and everything, but the connection and feelings is not there. Now talking about Femi, um, fans have been coming for Wani fans have been coming for the pair that is Miki, as Aisha says a. I'm going to skip that boy is threatening to beat women up, even went as far as saying, I go even kiss and like saying a mistake. And Biggie didn't shut it down or address it because he's hungry for drama. Okay. Okay. What, where this is coming from was from um, the Radicals Diary session. I discussed that yesterday where um, Mickey said he's going to be giving energy for energy to Han Wani because it's been too much for her so fans be like some of the things he said and Biggie was really applauding was wrong that Biggie was supposed to caution him and not watch him say the things he said hmm okay um so these are just a reaction not only that Seth he joined uh, the buy one and get one free thing that's not fair but it's okay you guys keep voting for my queen okay I think Biggie was instigating. He really wants the fight to happen. Guys, you also think Biggie wants drama to happen. You know, the thing is, um, I don't know how you guys see it, but I did not see it that way until people started complaining. The one X Handy fans started complaining that Big Brother is actually trying to push it up for this housemate to have drama or this beef to happen. Okay, VHQ also says Biggie allowing Handy still on Handy, yes. Biggie allowing Handy to be uncomfortable in that house, knowing she feels violated is actually crazy. He should address that situation immediately. How can he be talking about mental health and allowing this to linger? Okay, the day mayor felt okay violated by hand in call did you clamor for biggie to address it not be mayor mental health to their stake that time or mental health is only subjected to handy now this is the thing so people are actually calling out on biggie they are like biggie what is going on like how far address the thinking that handy complained about ben and so people are now repeating taking it back to what mayor said about handy like i don't know stanship has actually made some people reason some other way like mayor and handy own and that's what ben did do you think it's the same before i even start saying anything do you guys think it's the same i would really love to hear from you guys first in the comment section thank you so much for always sailing with me bye for now babies